I'm Aria. Welcome back to Arian's World, where I review things. So today I'll be doing a part two to Turtle to Make Hope review, and I suggest that you check out part one. And I decided to do part two because I was filming a different video, and I realized that I was a bit too generous with the ratings. So you know, here's part two. So there are five categories I want to talk about in this video. I want to talk about the accessibility, um, the security, customer service, the amenities, and also the price, right? Alright, so in regards to the accessibility, I'm giving it a 2 out of 5 and that's because like the road in Portland, it's absolutely awful like I feel that nobody should be getting down there at this point in time, the road is really, really bad and it's a case where where the cove is, you have to actually drive through somebody's yard so it isn't really all that accessible so I'm giving it a 2 out of 5 In regards to the um, customer service, I'm giving it a 3 out of 5 as well because it's pretty average like it's not regular bad jamaican customer service but it's not like extremely good either so just a little three all right the people there were nice but they, it wasn't anything special so in regards to the amenities and going to four or five and to be honest the place was, the place was like really really beautiful i'll insert some clips and you guys can see but it was amazing i loved it a lot I've never seen somewhere like that and I spoke about this more in my first video so you can check it out there. In regards to the price, 5 out of 5. It's just 5 bills and that's pretty cheap. Especially right now in Jamaica's economy, like it's cheap. So 5 out of 5 for that. And in regards to the security, I want to give that like a 0. I gave it like a, what, a 2 the last time, but I'm going to a 0 because there was actually no security there. So it doesn't make any sense. It's a 0 out of 5. In regards to the overall experience, I'm giving that three worlds out of five. And I mean, I explained why previously, but it wasn't somewhere that was, you know, perfect. So I can't really give it a five, but overall, it was a five. I still enjoyed it though, so I do recommend it whenever you're in Portland. All right, so that's the end of this video, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to check out part one. I'll link it in this video. And yeah, that's it. Bye, guys.